Alright guys, so we have the final injury report going into this weekend's game versus the Indianapolis Colts. And according to the injury report, Chase Brown is fully ready to go 100%. He's still suffering the hamstring injury, which again, keep in mind, it's not a new injury. It's not going to go away anytime soon. It's going to be a reoccurring problem probably for the rest of this year, right? Hamstring injuries, while yes, at the same time, they can be recovered from. They just take some time, especially depending on the severity of it. Sometimes they just linger around. They're not really a big deal. I didn't they're not going to affect your game. But again, you know, little things can make them get worse and worse. And over time, you know, the player eventually might end up not being able to play for the rest of the season. So it's like one of those situations where it's like, okay, right now it's okay. Monitor it. Make sure it's okay. Make sure you rest. You know, limited processes is always good. And then at the end of the season, he'll recover fully from it. But for the next four weeks, he's going to be going out there and trying to give it his all. Now, last week he played 11 snaps. Could he be on another limited snap count this week? It's very possible. But I kind of feel like especially how the Bengals are utilizing him now. And they're actually utilizing that really at all. Um, I feel like he's going to get a lot more than 11 snaps this week. I feel like they're going to try to up his production and see if they can get even more usage out of him. Listen, we drafted him to be the Samaj P. Ryan replacement, and that's exactly what we're probably going to see this week from him is a Samaj P. Ryan type replacement. Akeem Davis Gaither, full participant in process after having two limited process rest days. BJ Hill, uh, same concept here, two limited process rest days, and then he was full participant in process on Friday. It makes sense, especially because Akeem Davis Gaither dealing with that knee injury his whole entire year so far. Um, you know, kind of give him. Let him rest a little bit and then give him full participant on Friday. It looks like they did that with three players, Sam Hubbard included. Uh, don't overwork the guy. You know what I mean? You play on Monday Night Football, you're probably sore, probably banged up. You know, let him rest before you have a game against Colts, which again is a very, very important game. Jonah Williams was a full participant in passes with his back injury. Um, game status is 100% ready to go, so hopefully he has a better game than he's had the last couple of weeks, where it has been one of the worst performances the last couple of weeks. Deontay Smith did not participate in practice on Thursday and Friday. He's considered doubtful for this game upcoming on Sunday. Now, he's not technically really a starter. He's not really even a backup. He's a third-string guy, so the chances are he wouldn't have been activated for this game anyway. And my guess is he's not going to be activated for this game, and he's going to not be playing this game. So, with that being said, it's not a huge deal size problem, but definitely something to monitor if we do have an injury on the offensive line outside of Deontay Smith. Of course, Deontay Smith is the kind of left tackle, right tackle, third string backup. So if there is a problem with Jonah, a problem with Atlanta Brown, this would be the guy who would need to come in out behind Cody Ford at left tackle or Jackson Carmen at right tackle. Tyler Boyd, um, limited participant passes on Thursday and Friday. He is questionable to go for this upcoming game. He should go based on what I understand. There shouldn't be any problems. Uh, but he is suffering an ankle injury he had last week. Um, I wonder if that's what caused him to throw the almost pick six of Josh Allen. I'm kidding. <clears throat> Although, come on now. Ankle injury, though. Um, thankfully, it's his ankle and it's not his hands because clearly his hands are not working this year. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The Tyler Boyd slander is over. I promise. The Tyler Boyd slander is over. Um, DJ Turner was a limited participant in practice on Thursday, rest day on Wednesday, and full participant in practice on Friday. Um, <clears throat> game status is okay, 100%. He does have a hamstring injury, which it kind of goes back to the Chase Brown incident where, you know, we're going to kind of monitor him and hope he is okay for this upcoming game. He can't be on the limited snap count at all. Unlike Chase Brown, we can kind of, you know, put him in, put him out, depending on how he's feeling. Um, we can't do that with DJ Turner. Like, you know, we have no Cam Taylor Bright. Um, we really right now only run three cornerbacks on our, our defense anyway. We run him, Cheeto, and Mike Hilton. We can't run Mike Hilton anyway full 100%. So we have to run Cheeto and um, um, DJ Turner 100%. So we can't really afford to not have him out there. So again, it is what it is. Um, with his hamstring injury, I wonder if they're going to maybe try to utilize Poison Ivy a little bit more. I don't think so though. And maybe Jalen Davis. Because last two weeks, even with you know us not having Cam Taylor Bright. They haven't utilized um, Poison Ivy really at all. 
They utilized him for 11 snaps back in the Pittsburgh Steelers game, and he was a liability, so they stopped utilizing him really at all. <clears throat> Last game, he only had one snap. And uh, they're trying to use different packages more with Jordan Battle in there, Nick Scott, and of course Dax Hill to avoid having to use, you know, more cornerbacks. Because again, once you get down that list there, cornerbacks definitely a problem. Um, DJ Reader, questionable for this upcoming game. Popped up on the injury report on Friday after two okay days, Wednesday and Thursday. He has a back problem, did not participate on Friday. He is questionable to go for this upcoming game. Um, after practicing Thursday and Friday, I'm oh sorry, Wednesday and Thursday, it's a very positive look. But again, depending on the severity of this back injury, he might not play for this upcoming weekend. If he does play, it will be most likely a limited fashion, so a limited uh, limited um, snap count. Most likely, if there's 60 snaps on defense, maybe like 20 snaps. Um, if he does not play, also, again, this means BJ Hill is number one. Number two is going to be either Jay or Josh, and they're just going to kind of next man up mentality pretty much. And that's what we're going to see moving into this game. Zach Carter too, my bad. Zach Carter is going to get more snaps too. So DJ Reader definitely going to be a huge loss if we cannot have him. As with our run defense last week being actually pretty solid, he is our big option. But the good thing is, well, good thing for this game. Hope he recovers very well. Never see an injury. Jonathan Taylor has officially been ruled out for this upcoming game versus the Indianapolis Colts, uh, which is, again, positive for us because if DJ Reader's not in there, you know, now their best running back is Zach Moss. And Zach Moss is more of a receiving back. He's a running back that actually got traded from the Buffalo Bills over to the Indianapolis Colts as a trade of, hey, listen, we want your running back, Hines. You want our running back, Zach Moss. Let's do a little switcheroo. Both of them are receiving backs. They're not pure running backs anyway. So not having DJ Reader in there is not that detrimental. Julius Brent had a limited participant in process. He is their draft pick. I think not first round, I want to say. Is it first round? Either first or second round draft pick cornerback. He has a quad injury um, limited on Thursday and Friday. Braden Smith is officially ruled out. This is their starting right tackle. This is a huge loss for them, especially with having Hubbard, Miles Murphy, or, of course, Trey Hendrickson off that right-hand side. They are going to be rocking with uh, Blake Freeman. Blake Freeman is, of course, their... Um, I think he was the fourth round draft pick right tackle from BYU. We talked about it many times. Well, Blake Freeman is not, he's not bad in any way. Um, he definitely has a lot of limitations and he's not as experienced. So that's a, he's more of a raw talent. So there's going to be struggles in this game. He's going to have some problems. He's not going to be 100% on certain situations. I'm not saying by this time, you know, the Colts haven't gotten him up to speed and really trained him to be a lot better, but he's definitely going to have some limitations in this game. Um, we'll see how this works out, but going out of college, you know, there was a lot of red flags around people not drafting him because of the fact of all his, you know, problems when it comes to being a raw talent. So we'll see how that ends up working out for them. Again, hopefully it works out pretty poorly. EJ Speed, linebacker, knee injury, did not participate in practice on Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday. Limited on Friday. We'll see if he is ready to go for this game. He is questionable at this moment in time. DeForest Buckner, shoulder injury, did not participate in practice on Friday. He is unspecified for this upcoming game. We'll see if they do start him. Um, he didn't practice on Friday, but again, it's his shoulder injury. Full and then limited on Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, Taekwon Lewis, defensive end, ankle injury, full participant in practice on both Wednesday and Friday, limited on Thursday, unspecified. Emil a Speed, hip injury, um, nothing on th Wednesday, Thursday, limited, and Friday did not participate in practice. My guess is he probably will most likely not play this upcoming game versus the Cincinnati Bengals. So keep in mind, guys, we do play on Sunday. It's going to be a very intensive game, let's be honest. It's going to be a long game. And we got to get this win, man. That's all we got to do right now. Get this next four wins, win the playoffs, and then we're talking about potential Super Bowl, okay? So let's go. Who they? Who they? Who they think going to beat them Bengals? Who they? Who they? Who they think going to beat them Bengals? Nobody. Let's go, baby. Let's go.